This is 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle and worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm Stevie Zoom, Sunday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. And we are ready for a live performance here in our studios. We want to welcome Kate Tempest. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having us here. I yes. appreciate it. And you said us, and I was just going to have uh, you introduce uh, your companion here who's with you today. For sure. This is Claire Uchima, playing the synths, and she's fantastic. All right. Thank you, Claire, for being here. This evening, Kate and Claire are performing at the Showbox. The new release, The Book of Traps and Lessons by Kate Tempest, and right now going to be performing from that, so you can go right ahead. Thank you. I see the truth, even here, in the lies of my city. The truth comes from me with their hands out, when I can handle them the least. When the madness has consumed me, and I've mistaken it for my nature. When I have given myself over to the things that leave me weak. Each day I wake with the fury to change things. And then with each hour that passes, that fury subsides. I have cramped myself into such tight little boxes. I think that I live, but I'm not sure this is life. I have seen the lions turn to cubs and I have seen the hunters turn to prey. Our lessons will come again tomorrow If they're not learned today I have seen The lions turn to cubs And I have seen The hunters turn to prey Our lessons will come again And again and again tomorrow If they're not learned today All things are singing Life is a chorus It all gets so deafening sometimes And I am exhausted and our ears have grown numb to the song in all things But sunlight on water Or kissing you at the bus stop in the rain Or the wind through my fingers when I raise my palms in the dark It sings to the parts that are wild and untamed Come a little closer, give me something to grasp Give me your beautiful, crumbling heart I thought I'd learnt my lesson once I learnt it till it thumped my head to numbness Yearning it would just let me rest And then I learnt it more I learnt it again And then just when I was sure that I had it done I found myself mid-mistake And I realised that I'd not yet begun I have seen the lions turn to cubs and I have seen The hunters turn to prey Our lessons will come again tomorrow If they're not learned today I have seen the lions turn to cubs and I have seen The hunters turn to prey Our lessons will come again tomorrow If they're not learned today You would think that over time The lessons would just get learned But time and time again I find my lessons have returned and even though I've sworn repent And I have promised no repeat I find myself back here again With the same old ragged drum to beat Saying, how many times must I be shown The outcome of the pattern? How many times must I be shown The outcome of the pattern? visionary is a vision I watch her dancing by the window and it rips my flesh to ribbons and the whole world is just ripples in the middle distance I listen to her hips I push my kisses to her lips we move like we were born to move the night is teeth and pistons 
And there is something in this tenderness that makes me want to live and live and live. This fire smoke. Her mouth sets free this captive. Come close to me. Free me. Let me untangle the madness that knots you. I drop to my knees and I crawl across you. I tell you I've got you. It's fire smoke. So go on. Give me three days of your body and mine. Time is a blind eye and I see your mind in my mind's eye. You make me immortal. You take me to space. You are a planet, a place I have not known. And your body is home to rare gods. I kneel at their temple, blown to bits. Gentle, ferocious, we are open. Explosives have nothing compared to these sparks. So please, let's fall apart. And then lie with me breathing in the den of the dark. It is fire smoke. Your mouth sets free this captive, come close to me, free me. Untangle the madness that knots me. You drop to your knees and you crawl across me. You lick your lips softly, it's fire smoke. The fire rises between us. Makes us get on the wrong trains Makes us walk the wrong way Makes strangers smile greetings on Lewisham Way I bathe in this fire It warms without burning It compels without force And it turns without turning the world So please, please, keep your purpose Keep your poise and keep your journey I will be by the fire Thinking nothing I've learned can prepare me for everything else that needs learning. Is this how it feels to feel certain? For so many years now my love's been a burden. But now comes this fire to cleanse and restore us. To fuel us and calm us and push us both. Forwards. 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 I touch the beginning. Animating animals and tree gods. Scratching out legends in cave walls The days poured down into night as we watched We mapped stars and peaks, we caught beasts We fought food for the feast And we walked to a breast to receive the bound wheat The grass was black and strange As we raised plains to ash, we laid claims We exchanged grains and we made pacts And we clashed and we strained And the rains lashed and the young maids were brave, but they were made to lay flat. The old ways were too ingrained to make the brain snap. We laid traps. We gave our names back to the saints. We sang out thanks and complaints. We burned fat, arranged bones in the flames. Each bird a great catch. Our songs were spells, and our spells were plain facts. She lay down in the road where the people go by and she declared herself willing to try I lay down beside her but all I could see were the feet as they walked over me that's when she told me I was holy elixir 
She said, I thought I knew the world, but it was only a picture. She said, we're all written in the holiest scripture. It's just we're living in this time that says, no inhibitions, get yours, keep going the distance, no limits, and don't bother protesting because nobody listens. Besides, all your solutions dissolve under scrutiny, and you can't stand a note of derision. Instead, seek approval to justify your existence, have opinions, but have no resolve or conviction. Just keep your head down, breathe the fumes, and indulge your addictions. Routine is healthy, ignore the affliction, the cost to the soul and the constant constriction don't consider too closely have no intermission keep throwing your fists in slow repetition most of us manage what makes you so different she said you seem a bright spark why don't you go ahead and take the road with the pilgrims and head for the temples of democracy freedom growth reason Liberty, hope, but don't pay attention to what's hanging from the rope. She said, decode the language, unfold the symbols. Untold disciples got lost in the hillside. Following intellect, they let go of wisdom, and now they'll tell you the soul's a closed system. They sacrificed instinct to phony ambition, and now what they hold in their fists has become all that there is. But total existence needs meaning and myth. Many misjudged the way and got lost in the mist. She said, your loneliness is the symptom not the sickness and the moment her lips said peace my peace melted i became a memory i felt myself peel i was atoms i was magnesium i was calcium i was real she said we are born of collision We are the visions of the bigger vision and yet we run around like hamsters Spinning the wheel 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 Forwards Spinning the wheel Forwards Spinning the wheel I was on my knees then I was begging for pardon I was old and I was clothed in white garments I was in a vast red desert Where the rocks were dark blue and varnished And a voice said, this is the garden Now you better start sowing Or there won't be a harvest
I was under a domed roof. The light was cold and clear and fragmented. There were people. The people were moving. I watched them. I saw a muscle of schoolgirls performing. I saw the ticket woman massaging the small of her back. I saw the young gent as neat as a crease in his work clothes. And I saw the light. It was as light as breath on the dirty old track. coming to pass my country's coming apart the whole thing's becoming such a bumbling farce was that a pivotal historical moment we just went stumbling past well here we are dancing in the rumbling dark so come a little closer give me something real that i can grasp give me your beautiful crumbling heart another disaster catharsis another half discarded mirage another mask slips i face off with the physical my head is ringing from the love of the stars there is too much pretense here and too much depends on the fragile wages and the extortionate rents here we're working every dread day that is given us feeling like the person we should be it really isn't us like we're gonna buckle underneath our struggle like any minute now our troubles are going to finish us and then we smile It's all our friends. It's hard. We got our heads down and our hackles up, our backs against the wall. I can feel you aching. None of this was written in stone. There is nothing we're forbidden to know. And I can feel things changing. Even when I'm weak and I'm breaking, I stand weeping at the train station. Cause I can see your faces. There's so much peace to be found in people's faces. I saw it roaring, I felt it clawing at my clothes like a grieving friend. It said there are no new beginnings until everybody sees that the old ways need to end. But it's so hard to accept that we are all one and the same flesh. Given the rampant divisions between oppressor, complicit and oppressed. But we are though. More empathy, less greed, and more respect. All I've got to say has already been said. I mean, you heard it from yourself. When you were lying in your bed and you couldn't sleep and you were thinking, couldn't we be doing things differently? I'm listening to every little whisper in the distance singing hymns and I can, I can, I can feel things changing its heart. We got our heads down and our hackles up, our backs against the wall, man. I can feel your hearts racing. None of this was written in stone. The current's fast, but the river moves slow, and I can feel things changing. Even when I'm weak and I'm breaking, I stand weeping at the train station, cause I can see your faces. So much peace to be found in people's faces. It's not enough to imagine we'll be happy when we've got enough stuff. All this stuff is blocking us. I'm neat with no chaser, I'm all spirit. But I'm sinking, I'm sinking, I'm shrinking. 
Because my days are not days but strange symptoms And yes, this age is our age But our age is rage sink into beige And yes, our children are brave But their mission is vague Is your life well lived or is your life well displayed? I don't have the answers But I believe there are still things to say I stare out at my city on another difficult day And I scream inwardly, when will this change? I'm beginning to fade, but my sanity's saved Cause I can see your faces My sanity's saved, cause I can see your faces It's hard, we got our heads down and our hackles up Our backs against the wall, man, I can feel your heart racing None of this was written in stone The current's fast, but the river moves slow And I can feel things changing Even when I'm weak and I'm breaking I stand weeping at the train station Cause I can see your faces So much peace to be found In people's faces I love people's faces. Ninety point three KEXP here in Seattle. Live performance from Kate Tempest, concluding right there with people's faces. That and the others from the a new release, the book of traps and lessons. And again, thank you for being here this afternoon. Thank you for having us here. Yeah, playing tonight at the Showbox, finishing up a uh, series of shows on the West Coast mm -hmm. with lots of travel. So how has is, how is that all gone? Has that gone well? You look well. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, shows, shows have been going great. I should say that tonight, Sassy Black's going to be supporting us, Seattle favorite, and uh, I feel really happy that she's going to come and be a part of the show. So just big up to her, wherever she may be. And... Uh, what did you ask me? How are we doing on the road? Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> doing good, you know. Um, I feel very lucky to, to be having these opportunities to share my words with audiences. Yeah, so. I know that after uh, tonight, in a couple of nights' time, you're in New York and then heading back home. Mm, yeah. I love the title of this release, The Book of Traps and Lessons. There's lots to think about that. You know, I think about that myself in terms of, um, you know, moving forward and the lessons you learn, do you fall back into the same patterns? What do you learn from that? Do you break patterns? Do you repeat them? There's lots of things to think about with that on a personal level. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the title kind of seemed to sum it up, really. And the, the album is dealing with some of these things, as you mentioned, you know, patterns of behavior, um, that the speaker of the poems becomes aware of that are damaging and they're trying to break and they're trying to learn lessons from them. One thing that happened is that as I started to commit this album to memory, uh, we, we recorded it as one piece. And so in order to do that, I had to memorise, once it was finished, once the writing had been finished, I memorised the text. And I noticed that there were all these recurrent words and the word traps and the word lessons seem to be coming up so often. And I, I was thinking of that being the title and then suddenly it was like, well, the whole album is about that. Um, and it's amazing what happens when you memorize a whole bunch of songs and you play them as a suite all together from the body rather than from the mind. Suddenly you see all this continuity in them. The poems start to hold hands across the body of the album. And it just it felt like absolutely the right, the right way to title it. It felt so um, parabolic, you know. It felt, it felt like a kind of a nice nod to, to kind of William Blake or something, you know. Now, musically, too, this album... Uh, a lot of strings, a lot of piano, so there's a bit of a shift from the previous mm -hmm. releases. Yeah. Is that uh, an idea that you had going in with this? Or did no. this... No. Did this, <laughs> I'm, what I'm leading up to is that for people who aren't aware of this new release, you uh, worked in the studio with Rick Rubin. Yeah. So uh, in that regard, did, it, did Rick have a big influence on the, uh, the sound behind the words? Yes, he did. So Dan Carey and I wrote the album and Rick acted as like a, a guide, really, a kind of, he was the ears of the project. So he just basically encouraged us to follow certain 
themes within the music. He wanted the music to break convention and he wanted the lyrics to break convention and our own conventions as much as anything else. So one of my conventional habits is to try and stay on the beat. <laughs> you know, like, and he was not encouraging that. And he wanted the hip hop conventions to be broken. He didn't want the music and the lyrics to be doing the same thing. So he was just more enthusiastic about the demos where there was experimental sounds, less kind of synths and, and heavy electronics and beats. He was more interested in uh, the kind of bizarre piano samples in I Trap You, which is a song earlier in the record. He was really enthusiastic about that. The more organic instruments he was into. But I mean, it's, it wasn't like he could say, this is what I want you to make. It's just that we created an absolutely mammoth amount of demos. And out of every 20 demos that we made, he might say three of those are in the right direction. So it's like, it took a long time. Yeah. And uh, we arrived at a, with a body of work that I feel really proud of. But it, it was challenging for sure. I'll bet. I understand that he actually became aware of you and your work a number of years ago. Uh -huh. And uh, things take their time to kind of, for people to get together with schedules and other things going on. So I, I, I believe, am I correct that he actually became aware of you uh, a number of years ago and contacted you? Yeah, it was. Uh, I was on a TV show. I had been touring at something called Brand New Ancients, which was um, an earlier piece of work I made, a long story told over an orchestral score. And I, I was um, performing a short extract on a TV show in like 2012. And, or maybe 2013, long time ago. <laughs> and he saw it and he, he gave me a call. But yeah, it took this long because we wanted, we made Let Them Eat Chaos, which was my previous album. We were generating demos for that as part of this process of making demos for Rick. And he wasn't, he wasn't that enthusiastic about these demos. He was not into me rapping. He didn't like the beats to be so heavy. But Dan Carey and I were saying, well, we're really, we're really enthusiastic about this project, so we decided to do Let the Meet Chaos in the interim period while still trying to work on this more challenging, um, maybe more mature album that, that was in the background uh, behind everything else that has happened over the last five years, whether that's putting albums out, touring them, writing plays, touring them. There's been this, this presence in, in my life of the Book of Traps and Lessons slowly, slowly coming together through trial and error. A lot of error. <laughs> and here we go. Yeah. Well, speaking just as a listener, that process or that the previous record to this one, uh, it, it's all kind of worked out as just somebody who's a listener and yeah. to uh, hear that uh, kind of evolve the way it did. Yeah, it's funny the way things all seem to work out. All right. One more thing before we let you go, and you just sure. mentioned it, um, a new play. I uh, understand you have a new play that's going to open up this next year? Yeah. Um, that you've written. I've nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's, and I'm, I'm pretty much there there's another draft to go it's a retelling of a very old play um, which I'm excited about it'll be staged at a, a big theatre in London it'll be the biggest theatre that my work's ever been on in and with a cast of some fantastic actors, a cast of 13 women at the minute it's really cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm really overwhelmed with the opportunity. But I shouldn't talk too much about it because I still haven't finished it and it could all go terribly wrong at the last minute and then I'll, <laughs> it'll sound like I've made it all up. <laughs> all right. Well, we uh, hope that all evolves to the finish and we uh, look forward to that. Kate Tempest, The Book of Traps and Lessons is the new release and uh, performing tonight at the Showbox with Sassy Black opening. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that. No problem. Thank you, Claire, for being here. And I want to thank our engineer, Julian. Thanks so much for this performance this afternoon. This is 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover great music at kexp.org.